What's up guys, I'm in Lisbon, Portugal now. The weather is so much hotter than in Wrocław, Poland, where I just came from. In a few days, I'm going to leave for Germany and I hope the weather is going to be a lot cooler. Well, on the way here, I thought of a topic to share with you. It turns out that you can start a business with just $115. If you think about it, that's maybe 4 meals at a decent restaurant or about a year's worth for Spotify or Netflix. Now, if starting a business for $115 is something that is intriguing to you and you think that you will start a business, then watch on. Here's how I did it and feel free to leave me what you think in the comments down below. Before I started my first business in 2002, I was a freelancer who did website design, which was just another way of saying that I was a broke student trying to make money designing websites for companies. I had no business nor company, but that was a plus point for some of my customers. They were willing to work with freelancers like myself because we could charge them a much lower fee as a result of not being a properly registered company. There are risks for businesses to work with freelancers who don't have a business entity though. For example, I wasn't able to issue proper invoices and the lack of a business also meant that a lot of companies didn't want to deal with me. So eventually, I wanted to grow and that meant going on to the next step which was to incorporate a proper business entity. That would legitimize the business and start attracting more customers. So I roped in a close classmate of mine and set up a business together with him. It was a really good relationship because we worked well together as classmates before on school projects and on assignments. So when we decided to work together on a business, it was quite a natural and logical progression. The business did exactly the same thing that I was doing when I was a freelancer. The difference? was that we had a business name to operate under and a business bank account. That lent us the legitimacy that we were looking for. I didn't know the term for this back then, but what we were doing was known as a service-based business. And it is an awesome way to start a business. Let me tell you why. The first reason, low startup capital. Since you don't have any inventory, staff, nor research and development costs, your startup capital is simply the costs that it takes for you to register your business. Depending on where you are, business registration costs will differ. In Singapore, a sole proprietorship or a partnership costs $115 to set up. You need other recommended items but they are very affordable as well and completely optional. Especially at the start if you are very tight on finances. I'm talking about things like business cards and your website. It won't look the best but you can absolutely operate without these things. So just focus on the bare minimum to really get started and finding your first clients. There are companies that actually help you along this whole entire process and every country will have it. However, I realized you can actually do all of this business registration stuff yourself. It just takes time and if you're just starting out, I think you might not have the time to spare. So just do some research online and see how you can get all this done yourself. When we started our own business, this was literally what we did. Once we had everything set up, we created our business website and made ourselves look bigger than we were. We added testimonials from my previous freelance projects and used a family friend's office as our office address. Our website was worded as though there was an entire army working in the business instead of just two students. The second reason, reduce business risks. Unlike a product-based business, in a service-based business, you drastically reduce your business risks because you don't have research and development costs, tooling costs, inventory and shipping costs, or even manpower costs. If you have a conducive workspace to work from at home, you don't even need to get an office space. With a service-based business, what you're doing is basically exchanging your time for money, which means you have a very low ongoing burn rate. This allows you to keep costs extremely low until you get your first client and project. Once you close the deal and deliver, you get paid the full sum. After which, you can then roll the revenue into growing your business while you continue working on more projects. The eventual goal is to make enough money to finance the hiring of a team so that you can get salespeople to get deals and projects for you. And depending on the business that you have, people on the team such as engineers or designers or developers to deliver on the projects for your clients. Marketing can also be done in a very affordable manner. For us, since we were a couple of broke students, we did whatever we could to market our business for free. To get our first clients as a business, we printed flyers and we put them into business books in public libraries. Our logic was that these business books would attract people interested in business who might need website design services. 
We also spammed online forums and used free classified ads. Using the business directories, we cold called and cold emailed businesses who had no websites or had poorly designed websites. It was definitely a hustle, but it worked. Through sheer determination, we found our first few clients this way and it allowed us to see the growth of the business. So start your business now. If you're looking at starting a business, then there's no better time to start than now. A service-based business allows you to skip all the risks that a product-based business has. And if you've been saying that you don't have the entrepreneurial skills to start a business, then these businesses are absolutely fantastic because they are low-cost businesses that will allow you to learn what you need as you go. There is really no better way to learn the proper skills than to get your own hands dirty. To run a business on your own, you need to know things like search engine optimization, social media marketing, copywriting, basic website design, financial accounting, budgeting, and the list goes on. I didn't know any of these when I started, but I definitely was able to learn everything that I needed as I went along, either online or through books from the library or simply through sheer trial and error. Guess what, if you ask me, the best way to learn is to jump in at the deep end and just learn how to be an entrepreneur by doing. The only bad thing about a service-based business is that you never have the scalability that a product-based business has. We can talk about scalability in a future video, but I wouldn't worry about it right now. It's more important that you actually start something and get your feet wet. With all the advantages that it has, a service-based business is an excellent way to start your entrepreneurial journey. For those of you who have been dragging your feet about starting a business and your excuse is the high cost of starting a business, I highly recommend that you just start one right now because it is not as capital intensive as you think. If you have a passion or skill, which could be anything from dog grooming or mowing the lawn or web design like I did or graphic design or event planning or anything really that can be a professional service, consider developing it into a business right now. So that's how you can start a business with just $115. If you like this video and what I'm sharing from my 17 years of entrepreneurship experience, the best way to give me feedback so that I know I should produce more like this is to comment down below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so that I know it's useful to you and I can get more of these videos going. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.